Howdy and what's good everybody, it's White Tiger coming at you. Uh, this is the new uh, DNS tech pack on the TriCraft server and uh, I apologize for not being able to record up until now and I've already, as you can see, gotten a lot of things done so uh, let me go ahead and get started on letting you know what's good. So, first of all, uh, we started this new pack and I hadn't even been able to really record, but I have been hard at work. Uh, the, over here used to be a sugarcane farm. All of that used to be covered with sugarcane up until I got really going with Project E. Uh, if you've seen my other videos on my other server, then you know what I'm talking about when it comes to Project E. But uh, yeah, this is the base so far. Uh, got standard enchantment table, the advanced enchantment table from Enchanting Plus. I'm trying to kind of screw around with uh, liquid XP here. I'm trying to still kind of figure it out and everything. But until then, I got the old tried and true method. Uh, got a bedrock, bedrockium drum already. Uh, I mean, I've got a lot of stuff done already going on. Uh, Ender cores to help uh, uh, replace bookshelves for the en enchantment tables and everything. Uh, trash can there. Uh, tool forge. A few Tinker's Construct things. A uh, little chest kind of hidden in the back. I was trying to uh, go around and kind of pretty up the base a little bit, but I thought, you know what, I'm, this is just, I've gotten too... I got too much stuff, I'm trying to expand too fast, so I'm actually going to wind up moving, but uh, I tried to make out, you know, the floor was something different, uh, tried to get some limestone for the ceiling and walls, and as you can see, I kind of ran out and just kind of gave up and quit halfway through, but uh, uh, anyways, let's see here, uh, got my little safe over here with some crystals from Minecraft, I mean, Miss Craft, excuse me, not Minecraft, duh, uh, Ender Marker from Extra Utilities for Quarries, by which I never got to, but, uh, Mana Infused Ingot, okay, um, I was trying to screw around with this Experience Orb from Useful DNS, but that's just a mod that's in the DNS tech pack here, I got a Lectern here just for a book going to the Nether, because I had a Nether portal, like, way on down there, which we'll get to here in a minute, Standard, uh, XP Bushes, uh, you know how to do that if you already know about Tinker's Constructs. Uh, shouldn't be no nothing new for you guys. Uh, uh, got a little miscraft deal going on here. Uh, I have a I have my own world down here, uh, which I made. But uh, yeah, four ounces on. So uh, we try not to traverse dimensions while other people are on. Usually it kicks them off and stuff. So I'm gonna be nice. Uh, Standard tinker smeltery, a little bit of lava, and a portable tank there. Uh, high temperature furnace generator. I love this thing with uh, the eternalist fuel block. The sucker fills up fast and it stays full. Uh, alloy smelter, sag mill, blah blah blah. Uh, nice big old vibrant capacitor bank. Uh, fluid transposer, trying to screw around with liquid XP and stuff. Uh, dimensional anchor. Workbench Plus from Yoke Stop. You put a whole bunch of crap in here. You got different recipes for it and stuff. Um, yeah, it tells you. Okay, so if you click in the middle of uh, the Workbench Plus, it'll give you recipes. And you can just, you know, kind of cycle through and stuff. But it gives you different things. But anyways, the, uh, what I was actually making here was the spawner controller. And uh, this thing, this little sucker here is badass. You can take any spawner you want, uh, so long as it's intact. You cannot destroy it. But put this sucker on top of it, and you can literally, like, uh, change the exact spawn type of everything. Uh, there's nothing really down here. I was planning on making it to where I can access the bottom of this power flower here. But, uh, yeah, looky here. <laughs> this thing is usually, like, a lot more full, but I've been having to steal a lot of EMC lately to make uh, my latest armor. But uh, wow, look at that! So many Nether stars. <laughs> I'm never gonna want for EMC again. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, well, I actually have to get back to that. But uh, uh, unobtainium. Uh, Mr. P, Mr. Payton was talking to me about unobtainium, so I just decided I was going to make it. I made some armor from it. Uh, before I went and made the gem armor from Project E. If you know what the gem armor is, it's the absolute top tier of armor for Project E. Uh, let's see, we've got Red Guitar. Um, I was kind of tinkering around with More Swords 3, and there's this Aether's Guard, which 
it's pretty cool, but I mean, you know, it just looks cool, but it's only 8 attack damage. I mean, hell, I can get Osmium Sword and has the same attack damage as that. Uh, Red Morning Star, which, you know, is pretty much a hoe, a shovel, a pickaxe, and a hammer all mashed up into one. Uh, a Bloodwood Bow, just because I don't really usually deal with bows and arrows too much, so I just made this out of Bloodwood I found in the Nether. Uh, standard Ender Pouch that keeps everything, so in case I die, I can just always make another Ender Pouch and everything's there without having to enchant for, you know, Soul Bound or whatever. Transmutation Tablet, standard, you know, that from Project E if you've seen it before. Um, big Workbench pack, Backpack, that's Crafting Table on the go. You know, it's a bread, you know, but uh, well, this is the uh, QED thing. If you've seen uh, the series uh, before this back on the crack pack 2 I was trying to find this uh, over at Trialysis base I, this time I just decided to make my own and uh, it actually works fairly well but uh, anyways um, and I apologize for all the lighting and relighting it's night vision uh, it occurs only whenever you know, it's really dark or whatever if I get real near light yeah it just goes away as you can see but yeah it's an automatic thing it's from Project E. I, I still like it. So, I mean, that way I ain't got to worry about brightness usually in most cases. I can just sit there and just run uh, into somewhere dark and it'll just show up light. Well, generally speaking. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, infinite water source pool for my vials. I keep jumping back and forth to different things. I apologize if, it's, if I'm going a little bit too fast. But, anyways... Um, I'm just I've been trying to I'm trying to make up for videos uh, that I haven't made you know f up until now I mean I should have started like way at the beginning and kind of show my progress but here lately just what mainly what's been going on is I've had a lot more things uh, going on in my life that's just all explored caves and stuff like that it's really nothing interesting or serious or nothing but um Anyways, uh, so I got a new roommate uh, living with me and my family, and uh, uh, that's been kind of taking up a lot of time, this and that and the other. Ooh, lots of ores I didn't even come down here to get. Huh, I didn't come down to this. Ooh, okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. But yeah, this stuff here, uh, deca sodium ore. I, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it or whatever, but if you use the DNS tech pack, get some of this crap. That'll that'll really help you out in the beginning to maybe mid game. It just depends on what all you get. Whoops, I went the wrong way. But uh, yeah, so this is the DNS tech pack. I'm um, actually at the, at first it I was kind of a worry about it because I was like, ah, oh, it's it's a different pack. It's you know, not my mod pack that has, you know, every single freaking mod in the world that you could think of, but it's really fast and even though right now I uh, only recording about sixty frames a second, which I actually increased it uh, from thirty. But um uh yeah, uh, I'm I've been getting like two hundred frames per second or something. Oh yeah, I forgot about this ravine down here. Huh look at that. Wow. I completely forgot about this ravine being down here. But anyways, um, oh yeah, if you run across these in the DNS, that gives you bones if you dig it up. So that could be very helpful in early game. Uh, there was a lot of early game things I wish I had a thought of to, you know, kind of hang on to or kind of record and, you know, talk about with you guys. But I screwed that up. But yeah, oh well, I'm making up for it. I'm trying to find my blasted nether portal because I went way on down. Oh, there's a bedrock. Um, you know what? Let's just quit wasting y'all's time and cut to the chase. Uh, colossal sunfire. Yeah, I gotta show y'all this. Uh, pardon the uh, French if you don't like it, but yeah, anyways. Um, leave off point. Okay, yeah, okay. So here's where I made my little nether portal. I took Trios' uh, advice again, made stone-bound tools, you know, hammers and stuff, and just went and mined a whole bunch of crap and gathered up as much EMC as I could and put it all in there. Whoops. Ah, oh, four ounce, yeah. And didn't want to say anything in case. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, nothing special about the, the nether portal, but, uh, 
just wanted to show it was there that I actually went and got it. Um, anywho, let's get back to the main base. But um, yeah, uh, I found some a villager that traded nitor or some stuff for nitor. I was able to get a bunch of nitor. But uh, yeah, this is what you know the base kind of looked like. I just kind of dug out into the mountain, and it's just so small that I just had to expand. So. Uh, I'm finally going about building me a big old huge base, and obviously it's incomplete and whatever, but it's a start of something different instead of having to look at boring ass, you know, dirt and cobblestone and stone and all that crap. I actually try to make something neat, and of course, if you actually know me, you know I like purple, so I had to find something purple to make it out of. And I, I'm just, I'm not a good builder, y'all. I mean, my god, the tryhards on the server, I mean, everybody, I mean, like, freaking four ounce scoop uh eddie uh try honest himself i mean freaking darcy uh mountain dew mania i mean my god all all these people mr payton uh i've even seen i think i've seen killer bads around here somewhere or something uh everybody can just build like crazy and just so good at it and all me all i do is just square stuff or <laughs> but uh anyways um well since i don't have too much really useful stuff well I mean I have some useful stuff to tell you about uh, have anything really planned on uh, for recording oh, why did I drop down to 30 I'm looking at my okay and went back up to I don't know okay I'm just I'm sorry I'm looking at my recording uh, information and it said I dropped down to like 30 frames and kicked back up to 60 so I don't know anyways um, so yeah if you play the DNS tech pack and I think it's version 7.6.0.1 a lot of freaking numbers but uh, anyways the point is if you uh, how did I do this it was a way to double well not double like quadruple your EMC by using emeralds whoops and I can't spell well whatever okay here's the emeralds okay so just for example I got a stack of diamonds um, and this little thing here which I gotta ouch find uh, da, 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 da. okay so it's gotta be in the yeah here we go philosopher stone now this thing from useful DNS there's a bug in this I call it a bug cuz I mean it, it, I'm pretty sure they weren't trying to have this happen uh, but yeah look at that just one emerald equals four diamonds so look at that one emerald 16384 EMC Four diamonds, thirty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-eight. So I guess it would be about double, hey, give or take. It's about double. So yeah, one emerald for four diamonds. Sweet, I will definitely take that. So look at that, four stacks of sixty-four diamonds. I mean, you can't beat that. You know, I mean, just pop it into the transmutation table and boom. And then all you gotta do is just type in emeralds or emerald, and just get another stack. And then boom. There you go. <laughs> like, instant EMC for, like, a long time. And the beautiful thing is this Philosopher's Stone has an EMC value, too, so you can just copy it as soon as you run out of the durability of it. So, I don't care who you are. That's pretty sweet. I mean, yeah, a lot of people sit there and call it cheaty. <coughs> Kana. But, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, it's a little cheaty, but, I mean, to be honest with you, the whole Project EMOD is pretty much cheaty as it is, so... I mean, if you're going to run with it, you might as well go full nine, you know? I mean, I'm just tired of being the poorest, brokest mofo on the whole server. I can't do anything because I'm always running around, hey, man, you got this, hey, you got that. Well, now I can actually sit there and I can make up, you know, make up items or get items or gather things and give it to other people. So I'm really happy about that. All I ever wanted to do was just, like, you know, come on and help out, and anybody was like, hey, I need this, I need that, I'm like, hey, yeah, come on over, I got your back, so I'm finally able to do that, I'm, that's the only reason why I just kind of cheesed it and went the full, the full nine with the whole EMC value thing, but, uh, really, that's pretty much it, you guys, I mean, I hadn't really, you guys and gals, I hadn't really done too much of anything else, um, I'm sure if y'all know what this might, it might be, it's a compact machine, and this little Game Boy thing here, I call it a Game Boy, and a lot of people, other other people do too as well, but anyways, you just simply make, you know, this 
personal shrinking device which has an EMC value sweet and these compact machines they also have EMC values so you can just infinitely make them oh god I forgot I wasn't supposed to do oh I forgot I wasn't supposed to traverse dimensions while other people are on god I hope I didn't screw up four else uh, <laughs> well, anyway, so, yeah, this is all just one big huge room. You can do whatever you want with it, but the reason they ha there's these little things over here is because this whole block, you can actually hook into machines, and, like, you can, like, sit there, like, you can make an entire big freaking processing plant in here, and then output it to one of these little holes or something, and then, uh, huh. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so I've never seen that before. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, okay, so going back, I hope I didn't screw up four ounces. He's going to be so pissed. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, that's what those little holes are for. I mean, it's just a big, giant freaking room all crunched up into one tiny little box. And I, I actually like that mod because, A, it's not in my mod pack, and B, uh, I was hadn't been able to get really to work before and they got it working all right in here so that's that's gravy but uh yeah honestly that's that's it for right now uh what i honestly plan on doing now since i have you know so much emc and whatever whatever i'm just going to try to build a lot of things like um take for example here spammer launcher now this sucker i don't care who you are i say this thing is really freaking cool it's a damn rocket launcher, period. I mean, you can't go wrong with a rocket launcher. Oh yeah, you can, if it don't freaking blow crap up. Look at that. It blows, it'll blow up, like... Uh... Oh, wow, okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, it does work on certain things, but I'm guessing, like, modded blocks and stuff that's not, you know, it doesn't recognize or whatever. It's just like, uh, I'm not doing anything, but... Okay, so it does have a little bit of explosive power. That's actually kind of cool. But yeah, I actually started out with tree farms. You know, I was a uh, bunch of sugar cane over here, a bunch of trees, uh, random different places. And I chose the Mushu biome simply for one reason. There are no freaking enemies that spawn anywhere around here. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, sad to say, unfortunately, this is really all I have. Uh you know, gotten so far done. Um, I'd really like to start on other mods and stuff, like Batania, and, uh, I'd like to get into Thomcraft and stuff like that, but here's the problem. I don't know how to start any of that stuff. I mean, like, you're supposed to do something and something for the Batania thing, but nobody ever sits there and explains it, so I'm just gonna have to go look up on the wiki and sh figure out how to do shit from scratch or whatever, but... Uh, I don't know. Um, the the world. Uh, one of these days, I'll get around to showing y'all guys. It's actually kind of cool, but unfortunately for right now, you just gonna have to take my word for it. Um, but I plan on coming back. I plan on doing some more recording. I just I haven't been because I've been slacking because the whole roommate situation and you know uh, you've seen my daughter play Minecraft every single time I get on Minecraft. Oh, daddy, I want to play Minecraft. And of course, I don't let her on this server here because she can just go buck wild and just destroy anything. And I'm not having her destroy any of their stuff on this server. I mean, they've come too far. They've worked too hard to try hards with the server here. And I just, I can't trust my daughter in this world, in this server. So I'm just kind of keeping her on our server for right now. I haven't made any uh, videos for that server either in a while. Same reason. You know, I just, I'm every time I have a little bit of free time something happens I just have to immediately stop and log off and it's just a pain in the rear it really is but I mean as family God bless them you know gotta love them I mean you know it's it's whatever it's cool I mean uh, y'all really don't know me but honestly all my life that's all I've ever wanted is just a family just you know a wife and a kid you know actually a couple kids but that's later on but you know, I'll do anything I can to keep my family and make sure they they stay happy and everything. So, 
if it comes to my, you know my family or you know getting on Minecraft playing around, I'm gonna choose family. <laughs> I'm sure everybody else would too, except for really diehard gamers. But uh, yeah, that's that's them. Okay, whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, I guess that's really it. I mean, I hate to say it. I'm sorry. I, there's really nothing else to do right now. Look, I'll tell you what. Just just because I want to see if we can't look up Botania. Uh, stuffs, cause see, I mean, I want to get into a lot of this different stuff. I just, I don't know anything about it. I, and see, here's another thing. I need to go back and watch freaking people like Four Ounce Scoop and ever. Okay, there's nothing there. Huh. Anyways, I need to go watch Four Ounce Scoop. See, you know, how he starts out in Botania, how where does he go, what he does, and everything. Cause man, a flash. Okay, it looks just like fire. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um. I got a new, uh, well, it's not new, but it's new to me, but I got a freaking, uh, different, um, god, I can't even think, a brain fart, resource pack, uh, texture pack, equanimity, um, uh, I, Scoop actually introduced me to this, I watched his first episode, and he had this equanimity, uh, pack, uh, the link in his description, which I'm going to put the same descri uh, link in my description below this video here. I have this classic Project E textures because, honestly, I like the original uh, Project E textures above the, you know, the actual uh, equivalent Exchange 2 textures, which is what they now replaced it with, and I, didn't, I don't like the uh, equivalent Exchange 2 textures, so I just switched it back to the you know, the classic textures for Project East. I mean, you know, it's just mainly a matter of preference, I suppose. But, uh, was, okay. Well, I, either I... Okay, no, four ounces on there still. But anyways, um, I digress. Um, uh, what was it? Batania I was trying to start or whatever? But how do you even get the damn book? Yeah, that was the whole thing. Okay, Lexica Batania. And there's two of them. Okay, so you basically just take a book and take any old... Okay, I think we can at least... We can at least start on Batania together. Let me at least do that, because I already went to Extra Utilities and a couple other mods and, you know, just really took off with it. And I should have waited, but I'm, I was tired of waiting, because I kept waiting and waiting and waiting until the right time. The right time never would come, and blah, blah, blah. So, here we all are, I guess. <laughs> That's the reason why, but, uh, all right, okay, so, I went as hard as I thought. All right, uh, 169th edition, table of context, basics and mechanics. Uh, okay, well, I don't think y'all want to see me sit here and read all this stuff, but, uh, I know that I need to make the damn, the damn, oh my god, <sighs> I don't see how y'all even sit here and watch me because I just, I'm completely clusterfucked tonight. I mean, my head's just, uh, I can't even think for some reason. So, y'all just gonna have to either forgive me or go ahead and turn off the video. Personally, if you could turn off the video, I don't blame you. I really don't. But, um, Mystical Wife? No, it's a daisy. Or, yeah, pure daisy. Yeah, this sucker right here. Okay. Uh, Mystical White Petals. So, I gotta, oh yeah, the Apothecary Mofo. Uh, Petal, uh, Petal Apothecary. Okay, so it's cobblestone slab, co cobblestone, and it's always some sort of petal of some... Uh, okay, 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 okay. Well, I kind of want to at least start this together. Uh, I won't read the book with you, but I at least want to start uh, Botania with you, because I, I'm just... I'm honestly really just starting out and learning. I have... Uh, next to a few videos, I hardly have any idea about what the hell I is I'm doing with it. So... Let's do a little bit of it together, and, you know, if you don't like it, then, you know, just turn it off. I don't blame you, but it's whatever. Let's let's do this shit. <laughs> so, uh, we got, okay, fine. You want to be a deal weed like that. All right, and what was it like that? Yeah, okay, so one, two. Since they don't have EMC values, I can't copy them. I'm always looking out for EMC values. Anytime you over hover over anything, if it says that stack EMC or just EMC period, excuse me, but 
you just see EMC, that means you can copy it and use Project AD with it and all that good stuff. So, uh, right now, I'm just going to put both of these here and bucket. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I don't need the infinite water source if I have water buckets. Her, her, her. Okay, so we got the. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, that's why. Um, let me go ahead and just get a little sleepies here. Uh, I don't know. I just. I'm mainly just. I keep saying I don't know because I'm just. I'm frustrated that I hadn't been able to do anything up until now. You know, as far as video recording or what have you. So that's the reason why I'm all like mirror mirror. But. Okay, so apparently I'm going to need some white mystical flowers or something. Let me go get that right quick, and uh, I'll be right back in a mo. Peace. All right, five seconds later, I stumble across a mystical white flower. And why I say five seconds later, the reason being is because I literally just teleported back to spawn. Yeah, there's spawn point, give or take, as the map, as the map says. As you can see there, spawn point, give or take. Uh, I forgot you can't see my mouse it's stupid yeah I'm gonna change recording software here soon as well I'm gonna try to see if I can get higher frames per second instead of just locked in at 30 or 60 but yeah anyway so there's that and uh, spawn just it was let's see where was spawn it's way over that way but yeah it was just over there near a flipping mountain or whatever so okay so I gotta get at least four I'm pretty sure of these daggum flower thingies. I don't even know why I stopped recording earlier, but the reason I, I don't I just I love recording because I mean I can actually like sit there and go back and look at what all I've done and just be like, Oh yeah, I remember doing that now. I can I know where I am, I know what I can do now. But that's one of the reasons why I like recording and uh I said before that I like recording as well for another reason. Oh, I forgot to show you the Colossal Sumfuck Mask, or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, Colossal Sumfuck. Yeah, this thing back... Yeah, this thing here. Um, somebody told me to clear off all the dirt from it, uh, to get it all ready, and then just smack it in the middle. You know what? That's a good idea. Let's go do this uh, Petal of Apophet the Carry thing already, since I'm already kind of started doing this, and then we'll go back and get to that mask and we'll have a hellacious battle I think but uh <laughs> anyway oh yeah 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 um pfft. see I don't know nothing about oh so it gives you two of them that could have been helpful whatever okay all right uh let's see one two three four where's my oh I bet I need like seeds or something I think I'm pretty sure it's yeah seeds or something like that so pop those in there we go yes pure daisy okay so with this thing from what I've seen of other videos and such let's just go on up here into the new base because why why not uh, it's here it's now it's gonna be used so uh, need lots of wood uh, probably gonna need some stone I bet you anything it is smooth stone which of course I don't have uh, I'll get to why that is here in a little bit but um, well in a little bit anyways the the whole reason why I can't there's certain things like diamonds now I know I have diamonds in here but there's just too many things that start out with the word diamond in it so I had to like grab a block of diamond and then just like you know, throw it into the crafting grid and get diamonds like that. And same thing, I mean, with a uh, stone, like regular old stone, I have to take a piece of cobblestone each and every single time and throw it into the furnace and cook it up. That's why I still have a furnace kind of hanging around. Um, I don't even think I have a piece of stone anywhere else. Now, I could probably take two of these stone slabs and make one, but I bet you it wouldn't count or some some dumb stuff so uh oh yeah the furnace is back behind here now. okay 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 anyways um I need cobble come on okay yes so piece of cobble in here to make a piece of stone uh what I'm gonna do I only need one piece of stone because I can sit there and copy it with the 
tablet here, which I'm about to show you. But, um, yeah, okay, cool. Um, but with the Batania thing, I'm really not going to get very far into this because I just wanted to just start it just to start it. I bet you anything, since it's a flower and all that, it needs to be on dirt. Yeah, 10 to 1. Here, let's let's do this. Let's do a little test, me and you, okay? It's just going to be our little thing. We're gonna, Nope, nope. Can't do it on mycelium, so... That is the closest way to regular, normal dirt. I had a... a I went and... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So it's over here. Uh, that used to all be cursed earth, because I did the little ritual thing for extra utils. Oh my god! They're all after me. Now, I'm sure everybody's wondering, what the hell is going on? How's he sitting there just swinging his sword and things are just dying? Well, the beauty of Project E. So OP. <laughs> but, yeah, literally, this red guitar, you, instead of sitting there swinging left or whatever, you can sit there, um, what the hell is killing? You can just right-click on things and it'll kill you. Uh, it'll kill them. Um, not you, but them. Um, apparently I was poisoned or something. Oh, uh, poison ivy. Yeah, watch out for the poison ivy if you have biomes of plenty. <laughs> but anyway, God, I want my freaking inventory's all full again. Lord. Whatever. Go away, you stupid weed grass. All right, now. Oh, God. Seriously? Just go away. All right, uh, I don't need that feather. All right, uh... Sorry, I keep going. All right, uh, all right, uh. <laughs> uh but anyways. All right, so. And, yeah. Okay, so it's got the little, uh, effect thingy doodads going all around us. So that should turn into living wood or whatever. I'm sure you y'all are all tired of Batania and everything now. But for me, I'm just I'm starting out with it, and to me, it's just really cool. So, all right, we got one daisy. Ooh, there's a one that might. What the hell? Oh, I can see, I can see aura nodes with this gem stuff on. Really? Yes, I can. Dude, that is very OP. I like the gem helmet. It's gonna be very helpful for th Thomcraft. That's what's up. <laughs> anyway, so I digress as usual. Um, so we're gonna go back and go make ourselves another pure daisy right quick, so I can get some living rock. Is it? I'm pretty sure it's living rock. Gotta get all the XP. Must always grab XPs. <laughs> yep, yep. Because if you don't have XP, then what are you working towards? I get. I don't know. Just I was trying to say, think of something clever to say. I completely failed on that. Anyways, um, so, back to this guy here, so, uh, yeah, four of these things, okay, so it did go in, gravy, alright, now, it damn, makes a lot of little noises and stuff, not water, fool, bucket, bucket, oh, cause the stone, that, right, 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 um, why am I grabbing water? I have a second one that's already filled. Jeez, I am way off. You see, that's another reason why I'm, I've been way off so much. I, I just haven't been able to think right or something. I just, bleh, I'm making excuses. I'm just going to shut up now. So anyways, okay, so we got, looks like we got the living wood already over here. Awesome. Uh, now, sweet. That is pretty cool. Alright, so now we surround this sucker. And that should become... Yeah, okay, I did it right. So it's got the little effects, little particle effects going on around the stone. So I did that right. But, uh, yeah, let me demonstrate the red morning star. Let me get this living wood up. I gotta figure out what I can do with this living wood and all this other stuff. But, um, uh, morning star, yeah, if you push... Well, for for me, it's V, but you can always change in the key configs of your Minecraft, but V, and you charge it all the way up, and it'll do, like, a huge, huge, huge hole. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of go out far a little bit for this, but uh, watch this. One hit. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. 
see this thing is very OP but in order to you know uh, take it back down to where it only does one and you just shift you just hold down you know crouch or whatever and you just hit the V button again and it'll just drain your guitar to where it only just does one block at a time instead so I, I think that's cool but yes I have OP stuff I really don't care you know, if y'all want to gripe at me and bitch at me, sure, I, I understand. I completely get it. You know, wow. I never actually saw that stuff actually change before. That was really neat. Because, you know, I always sit there and see YouTubers, and they was like, okay, well, I'm going to get this, and then I'll be back. And then, oh, well, look, it's already back. I'm already back, and it's already there. So, whoopee. So, that was really a cool spectacle. So, that's what's up. Uh,. Trying to get rid of some EMC shit right here, right quick. Uh, leather? Okay. Anyways, um, so yeah. So we got living wood, and it's not copyable, because it does not have the EMC value, so. Uh, that's kind of crummy, but. And why don't we have seven? Oh, that's why. There's eight. Okay, so now I'm just going to put keep putting this stuff around it. For right now, that's the mystical white flower. I want the pure daisy. Yes, indeed. Um, so yeah, I just this is all I know about pro. I mean, not project. E. <laughs> this is all I know about Batania is just how to make the living wood and the living rock, and that's it. So, ah, honestly, y'all, I think I'm gonna have to call it here. Um, I wish there was something bigger. You know what? Uh, that colossal mass thing I just thought of. I keep saying I'm going to call it here, I'm going to end it here, and then, oh, I think of something else. So, Anyways, let's battle this mofo. Let's, let's, let's see what's going on with him. Let's see what his deal is. Um, I saved this specifically for you guys, so I didn't uh, do anything. I have no idea what this fool's gonna do or whatever but all I know is somebody just told me to clear out everything from behind it uh, hit the middle part stand back and be ready for a fight so that's exactly what we're gonna do ow what the f ow 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 what the hell the chicken was attacking me because of the damn zombie on his head really fool get out of here I ain't got time for you go on that's right punks. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, um, I probably should have chose a more appropriate time to do this, and not in the middle of the effing night, but it'll just make for more creeper explosions on my ass, as you just heard and saw. Huh, I got his nether knees, I got his nether region, nether, 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 <laughs> yeah, there's the immaturity in me coming out, I don't care, I'm trying to have a little fun, that's what videos are all about, just having fun, if you can't have fun, then what the frick good are you, but, alright, so this dude's cleared out, uh, he looks like he's about ready to get some ass whoopings, and that furious zombie grew, that was cool. Anyways, alright, so he's cleared out. Let's get a regular sword out just to see what happens. Alright, so, uh, let me take a screenshot right quick, and let's see what happens. Okay, nothing. Hitting him in the nether regions doesn't do anything, so... Now this... They told me... Oh! Oh! Oh, that was it! That was it! What the f Don't tell me that's all he's gonna do. Tell me this is not all he's gonna do. Dude, I will be so angry. So very pissed if this is all he does. Unknown. Okay. What? what the really? Really, you guys? Seriously? That's it. He charges up for a little he charges up a little bit and then he just dies off. Seriously? I'm kinda just I'm kinda scared to break that. There we go. Okay, now I done pissed him off. Okay, cool. Fight. Fight, 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 fight. Oh, he's gonna dance for me. Oh, how cute you are. 
Okay, so I'm not impressed yet. So do something already. Charge up. Attack me. Do something. Come on, dude. Come on. Now you hear the Jeopardy theme music going on in the background. Do 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 do. Maybe I could kick him in the ass and get him started if I break that or something. What are these things I'm getting? Logic matrix identifier. Logic matrix controller. Factorization. Dude, where are you going? Hey, 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 hey! I ain't done with you yet. Fool. Hey. Hello. Okay, I can't even hit him. I can't kill him. Dude, what is up with this thing? What is... What, what? Go away. You are annoying the piss out of me. This guy's supposed to be all big, huge, and scary, and y'all are the only ones that are actually doing anything and attacking me. And, okay, you're big now. Why are you so big? What mod are you from? I want to know. How do you get so big? Infested, furious... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to clear y'all out. Screw that. Infused and furious, I'm gonna be slain by the white tiger. <laughs> but this colossal mask, so far, is so, so, so very disappointing. So, what, you just gonna fly through the world now? Oh! Oh, what? What? Ugh. This is really starting to get agitating. So do something! Finally, you at least approach me. I... Ow! Ow, 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 ow! A what? A taint drill? Where the hell did a taint thing come from? Did he touch me or something and made that? Ow! Ooh! Okay, y'all. I... Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. That's, that's god awful loud. I'm sorry. Jeez, that was... Ow! That's like putting nails on chalkboards or something. Dang, dude. So, come on. Okay, you got arms. Ow. Ow. God bless it, America. Flipping hell. Hostile creatures. Let's try to turn that down. See if that helps. That can only help, too. Okay, I'm... Don't... I'm just gonna sit here and keep smacking you until either you die or you get hurt or get hit or get knocked back or something. I'm gonna break that. <laughs> so what are you from? Are you Thomcraft? Are you factorization? Or what the hell are you? I know what you are. You're pissing me off. That's what you are. Okay. Forgotten Sentinel. What? No. Really? Really? That's it? That's it? Oh, what a disappointment. Dude, I'm more scared of the nether than I am of... Oh. That was just really... That was not cool piss off. Nobody's interested in y'all. I'm, I'm mad as hell now. All that for nothing. All that build up and excitement for what? Jack. Okay, so it is from factorization. Okay, but... Ah. Crystal dark... Crystalline dark iron. Okay, so that's semi-interesting. Okay. I'll get rid of these arrows, all this other stuff. Blue hydrogen. I can try to pronounce that. Forget that. Um, yeah, okay. So this is definitely a bust, you guys. I'm going to have to definitely call it here because I know y'all don't want to sit here and watch me pick up all this crud. I am so mad. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Don't mess with this because it's got that nodes in it or whatever. Okay, so yeah, I get you. <sighs> Alright, well, <laughs> after a very disappointing fight, uh, yeah, this is the White Tiger coming from the TriCraft server again on the DNS Tech Pack, and I will see you guys later.
Peace out. <laughs> Bye, y'all.